Hello children, today we are going to see Yamai Kids Orator Program Class 2. And in last class I taught you encouraging someone, right? Today we are going to see lesson 8, how to apologize. So listen to these phrases. Dear children, today we shall learn how to apologize. To begin with, let us learn these phrases. Please listen. Sorry. Extremely sorry. I apologize. Excuse me. So what are these phrases? These phrases are sorry, extremely sorry, I apologize, then excuse me. So we are going to do the conversation by using these words. Okay. Once again you can listen to these words one by one. First one is Sorry. Sorry. Second one. Extremely sorry. Extremely sorry. Three. I apologize. I apologize. Four. Excuse me. Excuse me. So by using these phrases, we are going to do our conversation today. So listen to this conversation one. I'm sorry. I'm late. What happened, Andrea? I was doing my classwork, Grace. It's okay. Join us. Okay. So here the conversation is using the word sorry. How you can talk to your friends or to someone. So if you are making a mistake, you should say and you must say what you want to say. You should say sorry. You must say sorry. If you are making some mistake, you should and you must always use that word sorry. So she came late to meet her friends it seems. So she is telling I am sorry, I am late. So what happened Andrea? I was doing my class for grace. I, it's okay, join us. This is the conversation. This is a here four girls are there. But the conversation is between two girls. That is Andrea and Grace. So here Andrea is coming and what she is telling? She is telling I am sorry, I am late. So Grace said, what happened Andrea? I was doing my classwork, Grace. That's why I came late. Andrea is telling, I was doing my classwork. That's why she came late, it seems. So Grace said, it's okay, join us. This is the conversation. Okay, by using the word sorry. Once again, you can listen this. One by one, you listen. I'm sorry, I did. What happened, Andrea? I was doing my classwork, Grace. It's okay. Join us. Dear children, so this is the word sorry. How to use when you are doing your conversation. Okay. So, I'm sorry, I'm late. What happened, Andrea? I was doing my classwork, Grace. It's okay. Join us. So, this is a conversation between Andrea and Grace. Okay, children, by using the word sorry. So, you practice this. Listen to this audio and you repeat it. You, you have to repeat this thing. The sentence you want to repeat, by action you want to do it. Then you can get practice and you know how to use this word. Sorry. Okay, children. Next, we are moving to conversation 2. Listen here. I could not come to the party yesterday. I'm extremely sorry. That's okay. My belated wishes, Frank. Thank you, John. Here, what is the first conversation? John is telling, I couldn't make come to the party yesterday. So, Frank called his friend for his party seems. So, he couldn't make it up. So, he's telling, I couldn't come to the party yesterday. I am extremely sorry. So, he is using the word extremely sorry. So, Frank said, that's okay. My belated wish, Frank, John is wishing him. That is, my belated wishes, Frank. Thank you, John. If someone is wishing you what you should say, you must say, thank you. Okay, so that's what. Once again, you listen to this. I could not come to the party yesterday. I am extremely sorry. So John is telling, I couldn't come to the party yesterday. I am extremely sorry. I am extremely sorry. So that's okay. Frank is telling, that's okay. Listen to this. That's okay. So Frank is telling, that's okay. So again you just listen the third one. My belated wishes, Frank. John is 
wishing him my belated wishes, Frank. So, what Frank is telling me just listen. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. So, it's like that. I couldn't come to the party yesterday. I'm extremely sorry. So, he's telling, who is telling? Frank is telling. That's okay. My belated wishes, Frank. John is wishing him like, my belated wishes, Frank. So, Frank said, thank you, John. So, this is the word I use. What's the word here we are using? We use the word extremely sorry. So, you have to listen this video as well as audio. You just listen. See the video and listen to the audio and you can memorize the things. How you want to say where you want to say this word, extremely sorry, when you are making mistakes or you couldn't make it on the words. So, you have to say, when, because here what happened, John couldn't come to the birthday party. So, he is coming next day, he is coming to his house and he is telling, I couldn't, I could not come to the party yesterday. I am extremely sorry. That's okay. Frank is telling, that's okay. So, John wishes him, my belated wishes, Frank. So, he wished them. So, Frank said, thank you, John. Clear, children? Next, we are moving on to the conversation today. Listen. Hi, Susan. I'm sorry. I lost your pen. I apologize. What happened? I think I lost it while playing. It's okay. Don't bother. Here, what's happening? Apologizing to your friend by using the word I apologize. Hi Susan, I'm sorry. I lost your pen. I apologize. What happened? I think I lost it while playing. It's okay, don't bother. So here she gave her pen to who? Hi Susan. Susan gave his uh, her, her pen to her friend is this. So she lost her friend's pen. She says, she said, I lost your pen. I apologize. So Susan is asking, what happened? So the other girl is telling, I think I lost it while playing. So Susan said, it's okay. Don't bother. So once again, you listen this audio first. Hi Susan, I'm sorry. I lost your pen. I apologize. Hi Susan, I'm sorry. I lost your pen. I apologize. So Susan, what she's telling me just listen. What happened? What happened? And the other girl, what she's telling me just listen. I think I lost it while playing. I think I lost it while playing. So what she replies, you just listen. It's okay. Don't bother. It's okay. Don't bother. So hear the word. I apologize. Okay. So, hi Susan, I'm sorry I lost your pen. I apologize. So, Susan is telling what happened. The other girl is telling, I think I lost it while playing. Susan, Susan said, it's okay, don't bother. Okay, children, hope you are this video and you practice this well. Next, we are moving on to conversation 4. Excuse me, listen here. Here is the book, ma'am. Please excuse me for the delay. It's okay. Don't repeat it next time. Sure, ma'am. So, here the conversation between two. That is, teacher and the boy. And he's taken a library book, it seems, and he's giving it late. So, he's telling, telling a teacher, telling to excuse for the delay. That's, you just listen here. The conversation first, here is the book map. Please excuse me for the delay. It's okay. Don't repeat it next time. Sure ma'am. So excuse me. Where you want to use this word? Excuse me. Here is the book map. What is that? The boy is telling. Here is the book map. Please excuse me for the delay. He, he is giving his book not in the time he says. So he gave the book little bit late. So the teacher is telling him not to repeat this next time. So the boy is telling, sure ma'am, excuse me. If you want to go somewhere, you are sitting and someone is standing near to you or you want to go, you want to pass that way, what you can say? You can say, excuse me, please give me a way. You can ask him, excuse me, if you say excuse me, they will ask what? So you can say, just give me a little bit of space. 
to move or you want something you want pencil you want to take your pencil you it is fallen down or something happened means you can ask use the word excuse me you please give your thing or you want to take that something means you can use this word excuse me so like that you hear the conversation is go between this teacher and this boy so you just listen one second how to do the conversation by using the word excuse me listen here once again one by one you listen here is the book ma'am please excuse me for the delay here is the book ma'am please excuse me for the delay he is giving the, that book it will be delay not uh, the teacher gave the book and she asked him to give the book by this time but he is not giving that by that time he is not giving that book it is a little bit late so he is asking permission that is not permission he is apologizing actually here is the book ma'am please excuse me for the delay okay children so what is the ma'am is telling me just to say it's okay don't repeat it next time it's okay don't repeat it next time for this time it's okay but you are not supposed to do this further you are not please don't repeat this that is the way it's okay don't repeat it next time so what the boy is telling show sure, ma'am show sure, ma'am so you have to conversate like that and you have to practice this okay children so what you have to do you have to listen to the audio you can see this uh, video also and you do your conversation as as mistress okay so please uh, parents please make a note you do your best to your children that we know but anyway you teach them how to do the conversation and ask them to listen this video and audio and ask them to practice this well and you can take a video of them of your children and you can send it to our school whatsapp number okay okay children do your best take